The second way to turn around a steam train was to use a Y, W-Y-E. And what that really was was a parallel set of track, but then from that would have been two equidistant curving lines that met about 200 yards off the main line. And so if you looked at it from the top, it looks like the letter A or a Y. And so what the train would be able to do is hit the switch, come out here, and then as it would get to the very end, it would be able to back, back out to the main line. And so you could use that if you needed to turn a train around in an emergency, but more commonly, Matlin, where I'm standing right now, there would have been helper engines to help steam engines get up the large grades between here and Ambe and here and Peplin. And so the steam engine could come down here, turn around, get ready to help the next train up. Meanwhile, the train coming from the other direction could disconnect and come here and get turned around. This is one of the Transcontinental Railroad's remaining stone culverts. According to several different railroad resources, this stone culvert and about 20 remaining between Lucin and Promontory Summit were actually constructed in 1869 and they're holding up really well. As you can see, this is a limestone that was actually quarried probably close to the west end of the line in Utah at Lucin. As we move further along the line towards Promontory eastward, the rock on these culverts actually switched to basalt and other volcanics. That these things serve their purpose for nearly a hundred years of operation with the hundreds if not thousands of trains is really a testament to the strength of the stone and the quality of the stone workers that laid this.